I mean, we all know Ted Nugent had his NRA comments uh, a few months ago. He was investigated by the Secret Service for saying that he'll be either dead or in jail by this time next year if the president is president again, um, because he's crazy. So he was investigated because of also, he's, he's made some comments that seem like they're threatening towards public figures. Um, so after that, he had another interview with CBS, uh, CBS's Jeff Glor, um, about what happened with the Secret Service and how they approached him and if he still just is emboldened. At one point, um, interviewer Jeff Glor asked him, well, Mitt Romney needs some moderate people if he wants to go ahead and win this election. And he goes, you being uh, backing him up, you're not that moderate. And he had a little bit of an upset response to not, not being portrayed as a moderate. Um, that's in clip eight. You are many things, but not. You are not moderate. Not very moderate. If you examine how I conduct myself, I don't think a day goes by in my life for many, many years now that we don't do charity work for children. I offer you this. Have you done a lot of interviews? Decent number. Call me when you sit down across from someone who has more families with dying little boys and girls who get a call to take them on their last fishing trip in life. Call me when you meet someone who does that more than I do, because that's really moderate. In fact, you know what that is? That's extreme. I'm an extremely <laughs> loving, passionate man, and people who investigate me honestly without the baggage of political correctness ascertain the conclusion that I'm a damn nice guy, and if you can find a screening process more powerful than that, I'll s or s How's that sound? We have no idea where that unexpected outburst came from. The second part of it directed to a female CBS News producer who was off camera. Awesome. I'm goddamn nice, <laughs> goddammit! <laughs> It's amazing. So, okay, so he goes and if you guys didn't know what he said, he said, I'll suck your dick. I'm a great guy. <laughs> I'm a great person. And, and going to how he has these interactions with dying children, I hope he doesn't blow up like this. I mean, he's going to lose your charity work. Or then, he, I mean, I guess the amazing part is reaching off camera. Well, first he has this explosion and he must have blacked out. And he says, I'll suck Jeff Glor's dick. Like what is what? Well, I love that. I love that the CBS uh, like voiceover there too is like we have no idea where this <laughs> outburst came from. It's like uh, I'm gonna go with Ted Nugent, the <laughs> fucking crazy man that you're it came interviewing. From Ted Nugent. <laughs> yeah. So like, then, okay. First is the first. Uh, um, I, 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 you know, I, I just want to say this. Okay. People who do charity work uh, and and then, and then brag about it are some of the douchiest people yes. that there possibly can be because. Um, look, if you do your charity work, do it quietly, and don't try to profit off of that somehow. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, my wife and I, we, we donate to a number of charities, and when I donate, I feel guilty. I'm like, am I donating because it makes me feel good? Am I doing it out of personal gain, or am I doing it just to be helpful? And it's probably a mix, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll admit it. But if I start going around bragging to people, oh my God, I gave to this charity, and to that charity, and to that charity, aren't I awesome? And I start screaming at people, I'm a goddamn nice guy, I get to 16 charities last year. Then it makes me an enormous douchebag and everything that I've done is really for myself and not for those other people. Mm -hmm. And then when he's bringing in dying children, it makes it even worse. If you're spending time with dying children and bringing them a little bit of happiness before they die, that's great. But when you brag about it and exploit it, terrible. Well, yeah. and especially because it didn't even seem that relevant to the point he was making. Yeah, moderate. You're talking politically he's, moderate. He, he's extremely moderate. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, learn, I love how he said, I'm moderate, and then he starts screaming, you know what that is? Extreme! I'm like, yes, that's why you, <laughs> people say you're not a moderate. Because you're- Extremely nice guy. <laughs> you're, you're extreme. Talk about missing the point. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it'd be a serious point when you reach out, when you look off camera and you scream at a female producer, I will fuck you. <laughs> I mean, we got to end this interview. We got to, this is a threat. You're threatening rape now? I mean, this is, where does this come from? I mean, so it, it, there's, there's, some, there's some confusion with that. I think because he told the male reporter that he'll have a, a gay encounter with him. He, he said, to, like, he said I, I need to, okay, okay, there's a woman. I'll have sex with you instead. Yeah, well, look, he's overcompensating. Um, you know, we've all heard the story about how he literally shit himself to avoid going mm -hmm. to Vietnam. And he probably feels like a giant coward as a result of it. He's felt like a coward all these years. So to overcompensate, he buys a lot of guns, 
shoots a lot of guns and talks about guns all the time like he's a tough guy. He talks a lot. Uh, yeah, and he talks about how he's going to either be dead or in jail because he's so crazy, so tough.